Hey everybody, welcome back to Judgment Begins in the House. It's been a few weeks since I last posted a message and I am just grateful to the Lord for the ability to share with you again. We will get right to um, what the Lord has sent me to share with you all today. Uh, once again, this channel is for those who identify as being in the body of Christ. Uh, because the Lord has said very clearly to me that judgment has and will begin in the house. Um, and um, he's wanting us to be prepared. Um, so, Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for using us and entrusting us with both sharing and receiving your word. We decree your promise, Father, that your words shall not return to you void, but will accomplish everything that you send them to do. We thank you that even as we record this, your truth is marching on. Yes, America shall be saved, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against your heavenly kingdom. We are standing in righteousness and justice, and we shall not be moved. Have your way, and let nothing proceed from my mouth that is not from you. In the precious name of Jesus, we ask that all who hear this word will receive it in the way that you intend. Amen. So, family, here's the word, and I'm going to look away really quickly just so I can read the word to you um, and then share with you um, how the Lord is practically walking many of us through this word. Here's the word. When I said and asked the Lord... Um, if he has a word for us today through me, um, the Lord said specifically, what you are expecting in November is not what is. You are moving with the mind of man, but must take on the mind of Christ. Evangelize, evangelize. And then the Lord said, there isn't ministry, period, mission period then market i am ministry i am mission i am market and so family i asked the lord to break it down to me some more and i said you know just what is meant by what do you mean by that what do you mean by um and what do you intend by i am when the Lord said, I am ministry, I am mission, and I am market. And the response was two words, your identity, meaning your and my identity, our identity. And I'm just going to share with you how the Lord is practically walking me through this, because I think it's demonstrable of what you all are already experiencing or may be about to experience um, and if this process and this journey uh, that he's taken me on can help you all be better prepared then that's that's good that's God um, so yeah I'm running for a government office in our state specifically I'm running for state senator that covers a part of Maryland in Anne Arundel County and Howard County for our state legislature. And when the Lord directed me to run for this office, um, there were a number of things, but one very clear thing and in instruction to me is that our campaign is to be a campaign of evangelism, not politics as usual, not ideological, Ideo ideological or ideology um, competing but evangelism and you know we know for those of us who identify as in the body of Christ we know that our worldview should be based on a biblical worldview you know if there is an ideology our ideology should be God's ideology which starts with love and cannot move forward without there also being truth, right? Because truth 
without love is um, mm, it's disconnected it's disjointed and love without truth is a fallacy there there is no such thing um, and so with this word that the Lord had me release today I believe and know that the Lord is saying to us that I am he as the great I am must be our identity in all of the places where he has positioned and will position and direct us during this time and the days going forward particularly as it relates to what the Lord said to me our being on boys E N V as in Victor O Y S and when I looked up the word envoys being used in the Bible there are many but these three words or scriptures stand out Psalms 68 31 Proverbs 13 17 and Isaiah 30 verse 40 and I'm going to read for you Isaiah 30 verse 40 because it's a very um, instructive and an interesting word. Isaiah 30 verse 40 reads, and I'm reading from the message translation. Doom, rebel children, God's decree. You make plans, but not mine. You make deals, but not in my spirit. You pile sin on sin, one sin on top of another. Going off to Egypt without so much as asking me. Running off to Pharaoh for protection. Expecting to hide out in Egypt. Well, some protection Pharaoh will be. Some hide out in Egypt. They look big and important, true. With officials strategically established in zone in the north and Haines in the south, but there's nothing to them. Anyone stupid enough to trust them will end up looking stupid. All show no substance, an embarrassing farce. Now, I'm gonna connect that just really briefly back to this directive the Lord in my particular instance gave, which is to run for government office to evangelize, not politics as usual. Real talk, family, sometimes it is a challenge um, to not get caught in the policy debate or even write ideolo ideological debate. I don't know what's going on with that word today, y'all, but, um, but to ensure that everywhere I go, everyone I speak to, Maverine represents I am the great I am so rather than I am standing for this or I am a Democrat I am a Republican I am an independent the reality is God wants each of us in the places where he's sending us on mission in ministry to the marketplace to identify with him first because to do anything other than will result in what we've heard in this scripture, trusting in protection from Pharaoh and in Egypt, which we know in this context represents those things that are not of God. Ending up looking stupid because they are all show and no substance. So today, um, in as much as I understand, and this is a big word, and so I will be chewing on this word and researching and allowing the Lord to give me more revelation to share as the days proceed and we're walking in this process. What I will and can say for sure is that God is calling us to not be hypocritical to not take our refuge and our focus and our strength from those men and women who are behaving hypocritically, who have sold 
themselves to the world and the world system rather than being purely committed to representing him, the great I am. Because to try to take refuge in anything other than who he is, in anything other than what Psalms 91 identifies as our secret place, abiding in his shadow, to take refuge in anything other than him in the coming days will result in our being made clear to have been those who are stupid, having sought to take refuge in men and things and world structures rather than in the Most High God. It is a very clear and direct word and I know that this is a longer message than is my norm, but this is an important message because we are soon going to experience, Lord willing, the opportunity to determine who it is that we would have represent us and what it is we have committed to them on our and our family's behalf, right? Um, so choose wisely. And this is not just in the political sphere. This is in every sphere. Choose wisely who you choose to follow as it relates to um, identified Christian leaders. Choose wisely whose word you choose to receive and to respond to as it relates to those who have labeled themselves as prophetic and prophets of the Lord. Choose wisely who you choose to seek and whose voice you seek and listen to as the days grow more chaotic in the shaking. Because our mandate, what God is calling us to do, is to represent him more than we represent anything or anyone else, to represent him. I pray for all of us that as we're walking this journey, we are sensitive to his voice, even when it's he is the voice of correction, um, even when he's the voice that says, you know, go ye this way rather than the way that you have been going, and to put off everything that we think we understand about what it means to take the mountain if God has positioned us to take a mountain, i.e. the government mountain or the media mountain or, I don't know, the business and finance mountain. And I know there's some who don't agree with that terminology mountain. I don't necessarily care to debate that because I'm not married to the idea of mountains. Um, I am committed to and recognize that God has called us to have positive influence in every sphere of our society because he's placed us here in this earth. Um, and so let's just trust God with where he's sending us and seek him daily to represent him, the great I am, more than we represent anything else and to not take refuge in men, money, prestige, power, and to evangelize evangelize just by our demonstrated commitment to Jesus and to loving him and loving others by who we are. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. Keep us in prayer, and I'll keep you all and do keep you all in prayer always.